Welcome sixth graders to the introduction of how to use a triple beam balance for measuring mass. This is a triple beam balance and it, com it is comprised of several different parts. The pan, the beam, the zero marker, and the riders. The riders are in different increments. The largest one measures in a hundred grams. The medium sized one in the back measures in increments of 10 grams and the smallest one in the front measures in increments of a tenth of a gram. When you start to use your triple beam balance, you always want to make sure that the, all of the writers are pointing to zero and that the zero marker is also resting at zero. The first way to measure an object using a triple beam balance is to measure mass directly. For this, you place your object directly on the pan of the balance, and the riders are moved into position on the beams until the pointer is balanced at the zero point. The mass is determined by the posi positions of the riders on the beam. We always start with the middle rider, the 100 gram rider first, and the pointer drops below zero, we know we've gone too far. So we back up and go to the 10 gram rider in the back. Also too far. Now we go to the tenth of a gram rider in the front and carefully move it over until the pointer is at zero. And when we have a mass of our penny up to the tenth of a gram. The second way of using the triple beam balance is by finding mass by difference. Sometimes you need to measure the amount of, or the mass of a liquid or a fluid. You can't just simply pour this on the pan because it's all going to fly away or roll off. So what you have to do first is measure the mass of a container, such as a beaker, put it on the pan, move the largest rider first, make sure it's resting on a notch, then keep going. It's resting on the notch at 200, but it dropped, so that's too much, slide it back one notch. Now use the 10 grams, one at a time. Still hasn't dropped, so now make sure, that now go to the next notch, and it drops, so that's too much, send it back one. Now you use the smallest writer until it zeroes out. And that's the mass of your beaker. Add up these numbers, and there you are. Then you have to pour in the liquid, and start again all the way back to zero. Move the 100 gram writer first and again. It drops so I move it back one notch. Now I use the 10 grams. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. It drops. I move it back to 60. Now I use the little one until it zeroes out. I add up the numbers and record my result for the mass of the beaker with the water and now I subtract the mass of the beaker alone to get the mass of the water alone. The third way you can use a triple beam balance is to measure out a certain amount of a substance. It is necessary to use this procedure to obtain, to obtain the exact amount of a solid chemical substance. Chemicals should never be placed directly on the balance pan so it's necessary to first find the mass of weighing paper or container. Here's my weighing paper. I'm going to add this amount to the desired amount of the chemical. So first I have to find the mass of my weighing paper, starting in the middle with my 100 gram writer. Gone too far, now I go back. Use the 10 gram. That's also too far. So now I go back and use the tenth of a gram writer on the front to find the mass of my paper. Once you have the mass of your paper zeroed out, then you can start adding your substance. If you need 10 grams of your chemical, then you'll add 10 grams to the mass of your paper. So I add my 10 grams by sliding my 10 writer over, add my chemical slowly until my zero marker equals its zero. Remember, you can always add more. Don't go too fast. 
Go nice and slow. Oops, I went too far. I have to start all over. A teeny bit more. Now I've measured out exactly 10 grams of my solid chemical. I know that the weighing paper was one gram. The chemical is 10 grams. That makes 11 grams total. 